God. I don't know where to begin with this. Elon Musk wants to wire an AI chip into your skull attached to your brain. The chip would then give you the digital intelligence needed to process beyond the limits of our biological intelligence. This would mean full incorporation of artificial intelligences into our bodies and minds. He argues that without taking this drastic measure, humanity is doomed. And he says, quote, my faith in humanity has been a little shaken this year, but I'm still pro-humanity. Okay, as somebody who spent 40 years in IT, man and boy, I must tell you this. There is no such thing as a non-hackable device. Just no such thing. Anything that works off of electromagnetism produces a radio signal. No matter how tiny your phone produces a radio signal, your electric outlet and it produces an electrical a radio signal, the cords produce a, regu a, ra a radio signal. No matter how infinitesimally small it produces a radio signal. And I know of black hats who have hacked computers through the signals that are present in USB ports. There is no such thing as a non-hackable devices. It, as we fix, because I, I was in IT security, it was, it's one of my specialties. As fast as we fix the vulnerabilities, more are found. It is a constant game of catch up in IT security. It is never where you are in front of it. You are never in front of the vulnerabilities. You are always behind it, always. It is why you will never see a smart device in my home, like an Alexa or something like that. Never. I don't care. It's hackable, among many other things. And it is why I am, in fact, extremely uncomfortable with having this phone that is on right now. Okay, Google. Shut up. It's, it's listening to me all the time. It's listening to me all the time, and we know now for a fact that it's sending that information back to Google. I'm extremely uncomfortable with that thing, and you will never see anything smarter than that in my home, and the next phone that I get will be hackable so that I can remove all of that. So Google is not listening to me all the time. But the average person can't do that. The average person doesn't have my experience. They can't do that. Uh, Larry, Larry says cat and mouse. Yes, that's very much the case with hackers and IT security is cat and mouse. They are always ahead of us. Always. These will be hackable devices. No question whatsoever. And then there's the potential for government abuse. And trust me, they will. Since 9-11, people who grew up as millennials do not know that our government in the United States, our federal government, is totally unconstitutional. It has turned since 2001, um, turned the United States into a 24-7 surveillance state. It is headed toward an outright police state. 99.9999999999999 repeating of what the federal government does is utterly unconstitutional by any sane reading of the document. The problem is we are now raising a generation of illiterate Igarami who have never read that document. And so they think the government can do anything they want. They're not supposed to be doing this. If government, if you do this, if you put this in your head, government will have access to your brain. Your thoughts, your thoughts will no longer be your own. You will not be a free individual. You will be a drone, a chess piece controlled by others, and you won't even know it. There's also the corporate abuse. We now know, of course, Facebook, Twitter, Google, Apple, they already collect all the data about you that they can. Even if you, I mean, even if I've killed, as I have, my Facebook account, they are still collecting data via other applications. And they have already addicted you to their platforms via an addiction to a dopamine rush, which I have discussed in other videos. I'll, I'll, I'll put a link to it. And it's not just me. The, American, the Journal of American Psychology or something like that, I'll put the link to it below after I'm done, has done a study and an article. You are addicted to a dopamine rush. When you have a chip in your brain 
They can not only control dopamine, they can control almost anything else they want to control, just like government. Your thoughts will no longer be your own. You will not be a free individual. You will be a drone, a chess piece, and you won't even know that you are being controlled by others. This is the single most terrifying idea I've ever heard. If you get one of these, you will no longer be human. You will no longer even be you. You will be entirely, 100%, completely controlled by someone else. You will not be a free individual. It will be a chess piece, a drone, controlled by others, and you won't even know it. If Elon Musk wants to do this, I advise him to get one first. Let's let you be the first one and leave you alone for about five years and just watch what happens to you. Get one of these, you will not be yourself. You will not be a free individual. You will be a drone, a chess piece, controlled by others, and you won't even know it. And as Larry Larry says, the Gene Roddenberry quote that always, always accompanies the very end of my videos, ultimate power in this world has always been one simple thing, the control and manipulation of minds. You put a chip in your head, you will be controlled and manipulated. You will not be a human being, you will not be yourself, you will not have your own thoughts. It is a terrifying idea. Ultimate power in this world has always been one simple thing, the control and manipulation of minds.